Hey everybody, I'm Leslie. Welcome to my home in Burlington, Vermont. Today I'm gonna to teach you guys a little bit about how to tune and wax your board at home. The goal of tuning your board is to kind of uh, take care of any of the snags or corrosions that you've had throughout the past season and or during this season um, and make sure your edges are nice and sharp in order to engage into the snow and give you a nice carvy ride. We're also going to detune the board because sometimes you want a little bit more of a catch free ride on your uh, contact points. So we're going to go through tuning and then detuning. So you're going to need a couple of tools before you get started on tuning your board. Um, we've got these nice tuning visors that you can buy at Burton.com or at any of your local shops. Um, they help actually set up the board and keep it in place, but it's really not a big deal if you don't have it. As you can see, I've just kind of set up a couple kitchen stools here to be able to hold my board on there. Um, you're also going to need a file guide, a regular file, a stone, and of course, beverage of choice. The factory tune on your board actually comes with a 90 degree angle on the edge. Um, what that means is it's a zero degree bevel. So you can see you've got your, your side of the edge and the base and they meet together to give you a nice 90 degree angle, zero degree bevel. And, and what that does is it helps you to engage the turn, it grabs into the snow, but it's really nice and comfortable for everybody. So when you're tuning your board for the beginning of the season and or at any point in the season, you want to get th back to that nice 90 degree angle in order to engage your turns and make it a nice comfortable ride. The Burton file guide that I have right here is actually set and designed in order to give you that sharp edge right back to the factory tune of that 90 degree angle. So the first step when getting ready to tune the board up is you're going to want to use the stone. Um, it's very important to actually get this a little wet because it's going to keep the edges nice and cool and alleviate all of the heat. Um, the nice thing about the stone is you can actually use it in any direction on the board and what that's doing is it's actually going to take off any of the micro snags or anything and make the actual filing of the board go a lot easier. So you're gonna wanna do the base edge of the, the board with the stone, and then you're gonna take that stone and put it into the file guide in order to work with the side edges. We're gonna put it into the file guide and use the stone on the side of the edge. The nice thing about the file guide is it actually really sets you up at that 90 degree angle. So I can just place it nicely on the base and go right through the edge. So after you do both the base and the side edges with the stone, it's time to use the file. Like I said before, you can use the nice file guide that works here, or if you have a regular old file, that works too. Since we use water with the stone, um, we got the board edge a little wet, so just make sure that you clean everything up before you start working on that file and sharpening those edges. So like I said before, uh, the file guide actually comes preset with a zero bevel at 90 degrees, and uh, you can change it. It's got some options for you if you wanna get a little bit more aggressive with your edge, but right now I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it back to that 90 degree angle. It's important to remember that when you're using the file that you're only going in one direction. With the stone, it was easy to just go around the board on the base and on the edges, but with the file, it's built to only go in one direction to actually sharpen it, so make sure the direction that you're going is the same every single time. The motion that you want to use when you're filing the edges down is one direction from tip to tail. So as you can see, I'm going to start here on the tip, I'm going to place it on the board, and sharpen the edge all the way down. We use the file guide to sharpen up our side edge and now we're going to use the regular file to sharpen up the base. Uh, when you're doing that you want to make sure that the pointed edge of the regular file is actually pointing away from you and you're pulling downward in that one direction motion that we talked about. So when you're done filing you want to go ahead and take out that stone one more time and just kind of smooth everything out. So take the stone and run it down flat on the base edge and then go ahead and put it back into that file guide and do your side edges. Now that we're done filing the edges, uh, we're going to want to actually detune the contact points right at the tip and the tail. Uh, ladies, you guys know you've cut your nails before and after you cut them in the sharp straight line, you actually file them down to make them a little bit more smooth. And in this case, in the tip and tail at the contact point, you're actually doing that in order to give yourself a little bit more of a catch free ride. Uh, very simple, you take that file again and we're actually just going to rub down the contact points on the tip and tail. And again, this is actually just taking that sharp edge that we've created and just softening it up a little. And remember that this file actually only goes in one direction, so you're going to want to make sure that the direction that you're pushing towards, that sharp point is actually going away from that. 
So when detuning the board, you're going to want to actually uh, focus on the contact points in both the tip and the tail. So you've got the contact points right here and right here. So these are the areas that you may mostly want to focus detuning on because those are the areas that are most likely to catch on the mountain. So that's it. You've got a couple of tricks and tips on how to tune your board at home.